Good morning and welcome to the Ken Bathroom Museum at Hawkinge. Today we're doing something a little different, a video of what the work is going on today, uh, Friday the 4th of December 2020. This would have been our about our fourth day of actual winter work because the pandemic we had to close on the 4th of November. Um, today we've got Del Widows, Robbie Meads, they're cutting up some MDF strips that are going to be used in the new cabinets we're creating in the weapons room in the armoury. And if you follow me through, this is the old RAF station armoury. This was built in 1926. It holds the uh, workshops for the weaponry, the bomb stores and the belting up rooms for the airfields. So originally built in 1926 and still bears the um, damage from one of the bombing attacks on the 12th of August 1940. The hangar alongside number three Belfast Trust hangar was uh, hit and destroyed. The bomb exploded and forced the roof of this building up and over slightly. It's caused a lot of problems with water ingression over the years. But come with me into the building. So here we are. This is the entrance gallery to the uh, armoury. This holds a collection of battle driven pilots' memorabilia, including very rare items from an Italian bomber that was lost on the 11th of November 1940. This is one of the actual national insignias of uh, for Italy and it comes from the BR-20 that was shot down in Suffolk that day. What is interesting is that this was cut out of the aircraft by a box tank with tuck, and it's seen here in these various photographs with people like Carl Fire, Tank Tuck and others showing this very emblem that you see before you. Um, we've got um, a uniform display of dress uniforms uh, from the period and this leads into the Luftwaffe Gallery. Okay, and this is Brian Sutton, one of our uh, volunteers and um, a lifetime electrician. He's working on the ceiling boards for the new display cabinets just around the corner from us. So what are you doing here today, Brian? Yes. You're illuminating the lights to make sure they're working? Yes. <coughs> Brilliant. And as you can see, they're working. We're going to put this in actually after constructing the cabinet because the wiring is quite complex. And we'll go through and actually show you the area we're working in. And here is the actual former two of the Belgian rooms for the armoury. This was knocked into one room back in the uh, late 70s, and we acquired this building in 1980 for the museum. And here we see Chandler Hamilton on the set ladder painting, and we've got Jonathan Dillon here standing down. Um, this has always been the weapons collection for the museum, but the cabinets were quite outdated and quite limited, they were very high. So one of the winter projects this year, so this is one of our main winter projects, is the redevelopment of the weapons room, and this is where we spend the income that you pay when you visit the museum. Uh, we're all volunteers, nobody gets paid anything here, so your money pays for the materials. Um, the other thing we do is we collect second-hand Casco doors, we take out the frame and we create the cabinets using this glass. It does cause a few problems because we have to actually do different heights of glass and one of the big jobs to each, to each time designing a cabinet is working out the length to fit it actually in the space in the, in the museum. The original cabinets were quite outdated, they were quite high which limited the, the display area and we run out of display, uh, display area for some new exhibits. So what we've created is a lower floor these cabinets will match the others that we've built over the last two or three years in the armoury. At the moment, uh, we've just been framing these cabinets up so you can see where the glass will be housed. Um, John's behind is standing down ready to paint these, these being white gloss. And so one of the big jobs is we've started putting the mantle in and then we're build, building the header to both sides of the cabinets. This will create a lot of visual area for our fine art collection on both sides. But when you look into the cabinet, we'll have the additional height, as well as uh, being lower, to have a lot more displays in here and a lot better caption and photographs. And obviously, the museum is more a museum to the men of the back of the room, so it's telling the stories through uh, information boards as well as photographs. Um, we hope you enjoyed this, our first video of our winter maintenance. Um, let us know what you think, and we hope to see you soon. Thank you.